What's up, beautiful people? How are you guys going today? It's another beautiful day, but not a very, very beautiful day today. So today I've got some bad news here with me, guys. So today I came to this petrol station over here <laughs> to fill up my car. And uh, when I came here, my I think my brain or I don't know what happened. I was just not in the best of myself. And I came to top up my car. And my car usually takes diesel. But for some reason, I put a leader, which is over there. I don't know if you can see that. 91, which is petrol. Um, there's some good and bad news about this. The good news is I have not started my car because if I do start my car, it's going to damage the, in the engine and the fuel pump because this is a diesel car and I've put <laughs> petrol. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. And this actually happens to anyone and it can happen to anyone. Okay, I've been putting this diesel in this car for quite a few, you know, quite a few years now. But um, today, for some reason, I just came here in this petrol station, which I usually don't come here, and I put the wrong petrol. I put the wrong diesel. I put the wrong petrol. I put, yeah. So, so we are stuck over here. I can't move. I can't start the car. I've tried to... Um, I tried to ask this guy over here who is over there. There's a guy over there um, who <laughs> who actually is the owner of, of, of who works at the petrol station. If he has if he has a hose, a hose is actually like a pipe that I can actually like, drain the the petrol myself. But he doesn't have it, so and I don't have any of those in my car anyway. So I had to call my insurance, and uh, they cannot take my car home which is 10 kilometers away from here, not even 10, less than that, for me to actually do it myself over there and then top up my top up the car with diesel. Um, the thing is, I'm trying to avoid... I'll show you how much I put in there. Uh, as you can see this. <laughs> That's the how much. I put 9 liters of petrol here, which I'm not this one over here which looks exactly like that so i have to <laughs> wait and um usually i go to this one that's the diesel over here but um yeah so my car is gonna <laughs> my car is gonna have to stay there because um i can't i can't drive it i can't start my car and, uh, it's almost nine there it is with the shiny tires tires so I have to wait for uh, somebody to come pick me up from here. So this is something that can actually happen to anyone. If you have a diesel car, and I remember one day I was in Kenya, and um, <laughs> yes, I was driving with my cousin. Uh, we were going to Eldoret from Nairobi. And um, we went to a petrol station, and because back home they actually put for you the the uh, they, they, we've got these guys who actually it's not like here in Australia you come to a petrol station like this and you actually put yourself, you serve yourself and then um, so the guy in there will just start the, he will just start uh, the, pe the, the machine and then you press yourself the machine, you serve yourself and then you go, that's how it's done in Australia and when I came here I found that a little bit odd I think it's the same thing in Israel when I lived there, yes Israel is the same it's the same thing in Israel as well um, you you put uh, petrol for yourself, but in Australia, you come and then uh, you you know the moment you press it, I think it's got a bell in there that t lets them know that oh this guy is ready to go. So I came here and I did that. So and um, yeah, so I'm here waiting, and hopefully I'm gonna someone's gonna tow me to uh, my nearest uh, mechanic, which is not far from here. So my mechanic is like a two, three, four kilometers from here. So they're gonna pick me up. The tow truck is gonna pick me up and they're gonna take me there. And um, from there, I was thinking, I'll go to my house and get a pipe and uh, drain myself because I just need to drain it. Uh, I've called a friend who's, who's gonna come and help me out from, pick me up from there to my house, pick up a, a basin or something 
and then I drain the petrol because that's all I need to do and then my Mazda should be good to go but um, this is just one of those days where things just happen guys and um, <laughs> it can happen to anyone actually what happened is I was actually and this is not something that I usually do I was having my earpiece and I was talking to a friend of mine and uh, we were having a long chat, a very deep chat and usually when, it's just normal when you come to a petrol station the one that I usually use which is few kilometers from here they usually come and um, the, the the black the black the diesel the, the diesel that one over there I don't know if you can see it that one is always on this side and um <laughs> oh dear must have messed it myself so this is what happens and um, I was supposed to leave tomorrow very early in the morning to drive to Melbourne okay so I'm like so I'm, I'm like I'm too Two hours and, and a few minutes, two hours from Melbourne. So I was supposed to drive tomorrow early morning with my my beauty car over there, <laughs> which is stuck over there. And um, apparently, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I might cancel my trip tomorrow to Melbourne. Uh, it was just one of those days where you, you know, <laughs> just let me know in the comments below what you really do. I found it a little bit interesting because. The moment I was putting it, I, my brain, as, as I was on the, you know, on the phone, so having my earpiece, and um, I was trying to tell the other guy, "Look, I'll call you back," and then I just remembered, "Oh, I'm just putting unleaded, special unleaded, <laughs> instead of the diesel." So, and um, here we are, we're stuck. So, I called my insurance, and they were like, "Look, we're gonna have, we, we can't drop you to your unit, your address." We have to drop you to, um, <laughs> we're going to drop you at um, uh, a mechanic and it has to be a diesel mechanic. And I'm like, so what do you mean you're going to drop me to a diesel mechanic? There's no mechanic now anyway. And they're like, no, we have to drop you to a diesel mechanic. And, uh, we, and we're actually doing this to you as a, as a gesture or, uh, you know, and I say, okay, fine. If you guys are going to do that, I'm happy for you guys to do that, you know. Um... So I'm just waiting for the tow truck to come and pick me and my little guy up <laughs> and go. The good thing is it's not that cold this time. It's not very cold. And uh, also another thing is I had my jacket on. But um, this thing can happen to you guys. It's going to happen to you guys. So my, um, my humble request to you guys, if you ever notice that you put uh, diesel, car, petrol, don't start the car. It is going to cost you a fortune. Um, and I don't think I'm ready for that at this time. So the best thing that I can do is go and suck that petal out. And once I suck that petal out, I'm happy to, to top up as much as possible enough diesel in there so that it doesn't actually affect the car. It's going to be a little bit smoky, um, but um, it's not going to be as bad as if I drive it now because I've put nine liters there already. As you've seen on my video so um yeah this is what some people go through man um it's not it's not the best day but and it's just i mean it's got the, the worst thing that can happen more than this so i'm just like you know waiting and waiting and uh, hoping that this one is going to be a, a good one so you know it's one of those days i'm in the petrol station me myself and the guy who works over there they didn't have anything um i was just like oh do you have a uh, maybe I should get some McDonald's over there. I really, I'm not into, um, I'm not into, um, fast foods, but, uh, yeah, I'm starving now. Um, yeah. Oh, la la. What a day, what a day, what a day. Yeah. So this one is, uh, is normal. I've got to leave it there. I'll see you later in my car. Just gonna have to walk to, uh, Peter Station and see. Uh, to McDonald's. I'm starving actually. It's uh, not very late. It's not very late now, but uh, as you can see, everyone has gone home apart from me. And uh, yeah, maybe I can get some chips or something. I'm just, I'm not into fast food, but maybe I can just get some chips, something to, as I wait for the tow truck to come. It said it's gonna come in 35 minutes, but I think it's been like forever. So, Let's get some markers.
Yeah, so we're just here ordering some chips. I see um I see a short lamp over there. Shining and uh yeah, I'm gonna get some chips over here. And then we're good to go. Thank you so much, miss. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I've got my chips over here. And uh, let's go and see that guy over there. <laughs> yeah, don't do this, guys. Don't ever do this. Um, yeah, I think it's getting ready. I can see him over there. That guy over there. Um, yeah, so I think it's getting ready to pick up my car. <laughs> Uh, what a day, what a day, what a day. Um, yeah, you see, it's there, it's getting ready, <laughs> picking up my car. <laughs> How you going, man? Good, thanks, brother. Matt, Messed up, Julian, man. Not Messed true. up. <laughs> Look, um, let me tell you one thing what I did. Yeah, I just you see, I put nine, nine liters. I'm with Yui, after yep. they called you. And I'm like, if they call someone, I'm happy to drain it myself. It's just to drain it. Yeah. But like, I, and I, was, I was like, can they drop me at my house? They're like, no, we can't do that. Nah, so the most I can do, so I can take your car. They want me to take my power. Yes. Um, so I can take you in the car there, yeah. which I'll need you to come there to be able to lock it up anyway. Yeah. Um, and then the, it's up to you to find your way from there to your house. Or, you can't take yeah. it to my house, which is not far nah, from sorry, there. sorry, mate. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. Because I'll I just wanted to drain it. I can drain it myself, but I mean... Yeah. Yeah. So the the only issue is you legally you're not allowed to drain fuel into what the drains. No, no, no. I was gonna put it in like in a, in a container. Yeah. And then you know take it to my uh, lawn mower or something. Oh, okay. You know yeah. what I mean? Like not not no. I won't do that. Like yeah, I won't yeah, do no, that. Right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So with, with that, what they've they have to tow you to a mechanic. Yeah. So they've got to put down for that. But I can't tow you. Yeah, to that's a fine. Residence, that's fine. You want me to uh, give you the keys or uh, anything? Yeah, I need the key and I'll get some photos and I'll. Oh yeah, that's fine. Just you, you eat your tea, mate. Yeah, no worries, mate. Thanks. I was starving. <laughs> Thanks, brother. Um. So yeah. So the guy over there is gonna be taking my car, and I can sit in the car and help something. <laughs> um. Ah. So we are in the tow truck right now. Um, excuse me, it's a little bit um, <laughs> of a mess, but not really of a mess. But um, uh, where can I put this? So that's that's over there. The guy. Ah, oh, sorry. So my car is gonna be <laughs> behind here, and I'll be driving in this car over here um, for now. So let's have something to eat. Yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna hold it as I'm starving, man. I actually left the house without eating anything, so... And I came here. <laughs> uh, and uh, usually I don't eat McDonald's, but today, thanks to McDonald's, I'm having something to eat and I'm starving. Oh! And I'm also dehydrating. I should have bought some water. But I don't know. This is what happens when you get stuck in the middle of nowhere at night and um, I don't know what's been happening this time I don't know I've been getting stuck a few times if you haven't watched my videos when I was got when I got bogged in the middle of nowhere honestly this year has been a year of blessings and curses um, but I go with blessings because I think I'm very very blessed to be honest you know I'm very very blessed you know like and I'm not complaining it's just that these things happen you know um, it could happen to anyone you know <laughs> Poor Julian. Why? Why? Julian, why? Why? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My car's been pulled. Look at this. It's getting pulled there. Look at there. My car's been pulled over there. They're going to pull it up. That guy is gonna pull it up. Yeah. It's an interesting day. But I love it. It's good to have an insurance. So I'll leave that guy do his job. And I will come this way. Yeah. 
It's too noisy over there. Let me go in. It's too noisy over there. Let me go in. But you can see from the back, that's my car being pulled inside. Um, yeah, like I said, this, this thing can happen to anyone. You just need to be careful. But I'd rather have it getting, getting pulled or something that, that, than me um, having it, you know, or having it, ha, ha, making it have a lot of issues, you know. Yeah. So there we are. Um. Anyway, it's time for us to go. And um, man, what a day! What a day! I'll see you in the next one, guys. My car is getting ready. And uh, let me enjoy my chips in peace. Otherwise, if I keep talking and eating, I'll, I'll not be doing the right thing to my body. Okay. So stay tuned. What's up beautiful people? Yesterday I got myself into trouble and um, <laughs> finally I don't think I'm in trouble anymore. So my car died yesterday and I had to go take it to get fixed and now it's fixed. Um, it's actually really really hot now. It's been here for since yesterday after it got dropped yesterday. I messed up last night. I put um, petrol instead of um, <laughs> instead of diesel you know. Um, yeah but uh, my car is now ready to go again uh, it just cost me a, f a few bit i took my car here to this mechanic over here um i'm just right now in my car right now so yeah it was a really 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 bad experience but um yeah so this is it guys i'm i'm back on the road again <laughs> and i think i've learned my lesson okay so i hope you guys don't do this don't do this if you if you want to mess up don't you dare do this and be very careful with your cars out there so yeah it's just gonna be a very short video guys but uh, my car is back it just cost me 200 almost 300 dollars that's how much it just cost me yes this is the amount that it just cost me i had to go back and uh, you know go to my house and come back and you know but anyway it's uh, it's part of life and they actually these guys are very nice they actually put some um, petrol for me over there i don't know if you can see they'll put some petrol for me hopefully it's diesel um <laughs> but uh, yesterday was a terrific day yesterday was really bad man um but um i think we learn we learn from this kind of stuff so i need to be very careful next time so without much further ado i'll let you guys enjoy your time don't forget to like comment subscribe to my channel guys and uh Stay peaceful.